Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 27 to September 2nd 2018 and now before we go to the Tarot spread here in case you are interested in a private reading with me uh, everything you need to know about it which is literally my website it is written down there in the description of this video and uh, as it is end of the summer here um, there is a uh, summer end um, promotion or sale that does concern 30 minutes um, the 30 minutes live reading and literally you get 10 minutes on top of those 30 minutes in case you go for the 30 minutes service here so uh, the first card is representing the topic for your week Capricorns then we do have the second card showing up the core of the situation third card represents the challenges you have to face on for the duration of the week and then we do have the fourth card that it is express uh, that is representing the guidance you should follow for the duration of the week so let's see what you got here now we do have the eight of cups and that card points that this week you will reach a realization that something in your life has to change simply things cannot go the same way that they are going on right now likely that you are going to find out that your personal performance toward either your career or relationship is a little bit off and it needs a certain adjustment. Now you need to know with the Eight of Cups is that the things are not as bad as you think you are or rather they are not in such a state which is a state of um, incapable to be reversed. That being said it is not way too late for you to get back on track with your life, with your relationship, with your work, with your career etc etc. It is just you know you need to find something that it, it kind of gives you amusement here because even if you are the one who is making the mistakes because this card does not say definitely that you are but that is a possibility here that is due to the lack of, uh, of versatility all right this is due to the lack of interest as well now imagine imagine this you are working the same thing over and over again for the next for the past couple of years excuse me and it does not give you joy anymore you know it doesn't kind of like um, boost your appetite for for challenges if you want to say it that way or to go to work to the next day I mean the work became a chore same goes for your career uh, for, for your relationship it could if it does reflect your relationship you know the routine in between you and your husband or uh, a, a wife or a boyfriend or a girl here uh, it becomes so stoic without any versatility whatsoever in it that it is simply you guys are taking one another either for granted or you don't acknowledge one another at all because you know what could change and this is what the card points here that even though the current situation does not satisfy you uh, a lot with a, a minor um, efforts here and with the right mindset a, a new perspective of that same situation will emerge very very soon it is just what you need to do here is kind of reach a, a point of forgiveness in case it is about especially a relationship you should not kind of try to dig up uh, to dig up uh, and reopen an old wounds and the core of the situation that will be the two of pentacles and why this card gives an, an answer to why you will go to that small kind of changes to exert versatility into your life two of pentacles points that uh, something is going to give you an example here i mean you're going to see that there is a, a different um a different side of the of the same coin that you are living in all right because the two of pentacles points that these small changes will start happening on your own and in the glimpse of this moment you being involved in that small change either into your career or either into your relationship you are going to realize that actually you can be much more happier and successful in the place that you are right now but this the current circumstances doesn't allowing you because uh, 
uh, you know, the current circumstances are circumstances for so long now that nobody wants to change them. Well, you have to be the one, you know, who kind of makes the effort here to make a, a change. Now, as the Eight of Cups is a card of walking away as well, for some it could be this drastic, you know, that you literally have to walk away from your job so you can make, you know, to um, so you can um, exert that fresh wind in your life. Um, driving away the noxious air around you or you know walking away from your relationship that will depend on the severity of uh, of your situation and of your matter but uh, what i'm trying to say here for you capricorns is that this week you are going to reach the realization that your life can and will be improved but you guys you have to ca you have to help it it's it's not gonna happen on its own accord and then the next card points to the difficulties that you are going to face that will be the ace of wands and i think that we had it for another sign here and it has in and it has a rather similar meaning because the ace of wands is the spark of the of the inspiration and it is a very hasty chaotic card so um as you have that glimpse of taste of uh, what life could be, but what it is right now, you may try to very forcefully um, push on to make these, uh, these changes, should I say that way, which is going to swirl all, the, all around you into chaos, especially if this is about your family. You have to be very gentle. Now, you need to know that when we do have the Ace of Wands, the Aces, especially as an action, are very prone to aggression. Because the ace, the fiery energy, it's a very short-term one. The, the fiery energy drives you to want the things right now, in this very moment, uh, to have results straight away, etc., etc. But <clears throat> also gives you a, a huge impulse and a huge momentum. So it will be important for you Capricorns to capitalize on the momentum, but try to tame the aggression as well. Now you need to know that this card also uh, speaks for a chaos as well well as I said and the uh, as soon as you start incorporating those actions which are going to exert a, a fresh wind into the uh, noxious air figuratively spoken in your life uh, then you can start sensing a little bit of a chaos here and there um, due to the lack of predictability of the situation because the people involved into the, into those actions were, are not used to your unpredictability therefore they will become unpredictable as well and when it comes to that you need to know that here with the two of pentacles you have to be rather very adaptable agile and not having a, a strict plan how to move forward but just go with the current and the last card that we do have for you Capricorns, it is the guidance that you should follow for the uh, <clears throat> for the duration of the week. Now we do have the King of Cups and this card refers to, how can I place it, to your maturity here. Now acting emotionally, you know, and uh, or trying to act totally disconnected with your emotions, it is very immature, um, it, it is very immature reaction, or being stubborn and, and, and un, uh, unyielding, it is what I'm trying to say here. It's rather you have to be more reasonable. This is what the King of Cups represents here. Having a reason behind your emotions and behind your actions, therefore, especially talking about career, being able to make the professional decision regarding the change that you do require, so you can make your, um, your time a job much more pleasant and your career interesting back again and uh, if we're talking about relationship here with the uh, with the king of cups it is truly about emotional connection here and showing to uh, i don't want to say it that way but uh, this card rather points to that you need to show to the people uh, or to the person that um, you know it's closest to you that you can live with them but you can also live without them. So you need so they need to understand that their actions 
have consequences and when they act their actions have consequences they need to be ready to face those consequences and as showing that to this peep to these people your boyfriend person of interest you know friends family as well etc etc um <clears throat> also you need to be ready to act upon those i cannot say threats but prerequisites that you are placing in front of them so everybody knows what it is in stake here all right because obviously with having these cards uh you you are the one suffering the consequences of the current situation no one else is and now as tarot as the tarot reading is um is over let's see what the lenormand cards has to say for you as an, an event that you uh has to be on a watch out here for the duration of uh, this week So the first card, this is going to be the ring, followed by oh my, followed by the um, the lilies, followed by the bucket. Wow! If this isn't a, a proposition for a a sex, I don't know what that is, because the lilies represent sex, and as well it it could represent as well a a, a family. So when it comes to that combination, we have a bondage here leading either to a, a, a sex or a, a proposition from a family. Now you need to know that even if it is about a short term sex at the start, because we do have the bucket here, is going to is have its potential to traverse into a, a long lasting partnership. I'm talking about uh, intimate relationship so this these Lenormand cards are pointing that especially if you have lost the taste for intimacy into your relationship um, these cards are pointing that that taste is going to be regained back um, <clears throat> from your behalf as you are going to be approached gently by your partner this is the bucket here representing gifted representing a very um, sweet and, and, and gentle approach towards you and that obviously happens in um in the field of your bondage here which could be a person of interest again or a um a, your boyfriend or a girlfriend etc etc and the lilies as i said they either represent family or they either represent sex so <clears throat> definitely this week is going to be fun and that will be your pre prerequisite here to exert that will be the minor change actually seeing the change in the behavior of that person for just a glimpse for maybe a moment for maybe a couple of hours or maybe for a day and then you will know that there is still hope in it but you need to help it as well all right you need to as well make a certain change in it you need to change yourself as well so that being said capricorns this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for august 27 to september 2nd 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and in case again that you are interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rod signing out now see you next time bye